Today's class a little differently. I'm going to show you how to build a web page in HTML5 and CSS3. We're going to set up a site folder, root folder. We're going to build totally from scratch. For those of you that know absolutely nothing about Dreamweaver, you get a benefit from this. From this, from those of you who think you know Dreamweaver, you get a benefit from my production techniques. So whatever your skill level is, this is definitely worth watching. Even if you built websites before, even if you made thousands of dollars building websites, you're still going to benefit from this course, from this video. So we're going to build a website from scratch. Now the reason I'm in Yahoo for a second here is I just did the screen captures. I'm going to write a few things here. So we're going to create HTML division tags, HTML5 tags. So as an example in HTML5, this section here would be the header tag. Okay, so this entire section right here with the header tag. Okay, this section over here, this entire section could be could be the section tag. Okay, but we're gonna keep this simple. Okay, so this is gonna be a side tag. This is gonna be a section tag. This is going to be an aside tag. Okay, now in the aside tag, I can have nav tags and v tags. So I can have nav tags inside the aside tag. So, as an example here, inside here, I could have separate nav tags and I could have separate nav tags up here. So, I'm just pointing out to you the markup for the site is going to be very straightforward. Obviously, down here on the bottom, We'd have more content tags, and side tags, followed by the footer tags so down here. Could be footer tags. Okay, this could also be footer down here as well. Okay, so this could, this whole entire section in here could be footer. Okay, so very important step. So let's get started in our next video. Actually, not next video. I'm just going to pause for a second. Be right back inside of Dreamweaver, so stay tuned. You know nothing about Dreamweaver, or you've been working in Dreamweaver for five years. You're going to learn something today on how to procedurally do these things the correct way. You don't have to do a lot of code. In fact, we're going to stay away from code in general. We can do some great things just from the Dreamweaver interface. So, first thing we're going to do here is set up a new site. So under the site menu, anything about a site is under the site menu. My objective here is to get you to think the way the software thinks. That's why we have menu choices based on these choices. Based on these choices, we're going to go to site, new site. Now, Dreamweaver is going to say what you want to call this site. You would typically put your domain name there. So let's just type in my domain name. No spaces, lower cases. Okay. Now, Dreamweaver needs to know where you're going to keep the site. We're using Dreamweaver CS5. In CS4, this interface is slightly different, but the, the site name and the location is identical. We're not going to set up FTP for this. We're simply going to set up the site name to define the site in its root folder, its home page directory root folder. So, we're just going to call this my domain name. Then I'm going to click here and someplace on, someplace in here on the desktop, we're going to go to websites. Actually, my mistake on that, this is for class training purposes. We're going to make a brand new folder called my websites. Okay. So inside the My Website folder, so it makes sense to do this, guys. It's the same production techniques I used to create websites for clients. So on my desktop, I have a folder called My Websites. Inside My Websites, I have the different domain names for my clients. So as an example, uh, Overstock.com. As an example, LennyKravitz.com, etc., etc., etc. Those are the names of the folders. Mine is the .com, so we're simply going to come down here, make a new folder, and, and basically do my domain name. 
So we're going to tell Dreamweaver that this is our root folder. Very important step here, okay? This is not my root folder. This is going to be my root folder. So I'm going to choose it as my root folder. Now, apparently, in a previous exercise, I might have had something called site name, my domain name. So we're going to call this my domain name 2. Because you can't have two exact domain names in your site setup. So we're just going to call this my domain name 2. Now it's okay that it's inside the folder called this is for your visual this is for your visual reference. This can technically be called whatever you want it to be called. We're going to call it something that makes sense to us. Okay? Or we can, let's do this. We can call it my domain name test or test version 1 as opposed to test version 2 and test version 3. So we're going to save that. Okay. Now, very important step here. So the page behaves and it, it, it looks exactly like it should on your computer at home. We're going to go and we're going to set this to classic mode. Now, notice somebody had this set to classic mode. Classic mode is different window palettes that you can use for your Dreamweaver interface. All Adobe products have a window mode, workspace mode. So we're going to reset this so basically all can start from scratch here. So we're going to say reset classic. This is going to reset to the default factory settings for the classic mode. Now, to make this class, this tutoring lesson, so enjoyable, we're going to get rid of everything we don't need. We don't need any. The only thing we need in here basically is our CSS palette. It's the only thing we need for today's course. All this other stuff we can close. We don't need it. It's not necessary. It's going to be confusing. I build large websites, 50, 60, 250,000 dollar websites, and I don't use half those palettes. I use simple, simple techniques to solve issues. So again, we went to classic, reset classic, cross all the palettes except the CSS palette, and the property palette, which is down here on the bottom, and the tool palette, which is up here on top, or the insert palette. So as a refresher here, any, any palette is under the window menu. So this is the insert palette. Down here on the bottom is the property palette. This is the CSS styles palette. And the application bar is on top as well. So we're going to make a simple, simple, simple new file. Any software program Windows or Mac is under the file menu, file, new, new file, or you can click, click here, create HTML file, whatever is simpler for you to do. Command N, new, or create HTML file. Okay, now, very important step here. This file, before I do anything, before I do anything to this file, I want to save the file. So, file, save. File save or command S. Save file. Navigate your way to where the file is kept. Now here's a really cool trick here. Let's say I was on my desktop. Because I told Dreamweaver where the file is kept, because I just did that a second ago under site, new site, I could simply hit site root. By clicking down here under site root, it will automatically take me to the domain name for that particular folder. Very important step. So as an example, say you're buried someplace else. Say you're in this folder, inside of this folder, inside of, well, not inside that folder, inside of this folder, inside of this folder. Okay, so you can always go back to the start by clicking site root. That's gonna go right to the root that we just defined. Now the home page, the first page of your site, should always be called the index page. Okay, now, again, I'm sharing production techniques with you here. What I typically do, the index page is already on the server saying name of the site.com under developed by whoever, Robert, Tila, Jennifer, Christine, etc., etc., etc. So, what I do, this is not the index page. The index page is sitting on the server, again, under development. We're going to call this 
index underscore version 1, as opposed to version 2, version 3, version 4. This way we can have different versions to show the client. So I'm going to save this file. So this file is saved inside of the root folder. This is your root folder. The site root folder that I get by clicking site root. Okay. Now, the second most important thing to understand, the second most important thing to understand is untitled document. I don't want an untitled document. This is bad news. This is a bad habit that a lot of designers get into. They forget to title the document. The title of the document is what you see inside of a web browser. So as an example, I'm going to go to Firefox. And I'm going to type into my search engine here. I'm going to go to Google. So inside of Google, I'm going to type in the word untitled document, which I copied and pasted. Now, here's the frightening part. Here's the frightening part here. Okay, according to this, 52.9 million people did not title their document, including, including this guy from Dartmouth College, which is an Ivy League school. Ivy League school guy did not title his document. It's this untitled document. Now, here's the irony to this page. This is a page about probability. The probability of this knucklehead titling his document is zero. Zero. So the title of the document is very important. To show you how important it is and to show you how I am a totally master at what I do, you've come to the right place to learn this. Okay? So if I was to go to Google and I was to type in Dream Weaver Classes, and I'm located in New York City, so Dreamweaver classes at YC. Okay, now these guys don't count my book because they put up the five to seven dollars a click to be there. These guys paid five to six bucks a click to be here. But who comes up first inside of this Dreamweaver classes NYC? So on the first page right here, you will find one of my websites. This is one of my websites here. So Adobe Training Classes comes up when I click New York City. So if you click about as an example or contact me, you can contact me from here. Okay? So this is what I have many, many websites. This is one of my websites. Okay? So this is my website designed for New York City training facility on West 57th Street. Now, let's up the ante a little bit. Now, this is Dream Weaver Class NYC. Now, here's where it gets really exciting, okay? Here's where I become an SEO master. Dream Weaver HTML5 classes. If I simply go to Google and I type Dream Weaver HTML5 classes, this is going to totally shock you. This is going to rock your world. Again, these guys, these guys don't count. These guys don't count because they paid to be there. I did not pay to be here. So, as an example, this is my website. This is my website. This is my website. This is my website. This is not my website. That's Linda.com. Okay? So, I'm the first. I'm the first three. One, two, three on the search results. Now, if I say Dreamer HTML5 classes, a NYC, because that's where I'm located, then here's where it gets really cool. Again, Dreamweaver classes that search the whole entire world. I don't teach the whole entire world. I teach specifically New York City. So Dreamweaver HTML5 class NYC, this every base, every page here, every link here on this first page, with the exception of this guy, is all me. This is my Twitter account. This is my website. So if you go to this website, you can click and get to me. If I go to the next page, okay, this is my website. This is my website. This is my website. That's not my website. This is my Facebook page website. So now, how did this come up? Very important step here. 
because if we go back to if we go back to my main New York City website, so let's just go back to for a second. Let's go to Dream River Classes. Spelling spelling sometimes helps. Dream River Classes. So I am the let's see. Right here. Now I used to be first. This changed a lot too. I used to actually be first just a week ago. So they might have changed the meta text around a little bit. So if you click this page, you will see this up here. This is the title of my page. Now, why do I have redundancies here? So as an example, I have training, courses, tutoring, because I'm not psychic. I can't assume that somebody's going to put in the correct word. I have NYC, Manhattan. I have learned. So New York City, because these are redundancies. So you can put up to 123 characters up here and be safe with Google. So as an example, this is my Dreamweaver page. But if I go to my Illustrator page, so this is my Illustrator title information. So very important step here. Google is a title content search engine. Yahoo is a title meta tag search engine. So you're going to get different results. No offense to Yahoo. But Google's king, so Google is is the best the best uh, search engine out there. It's not even a close second. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. So the title of the page is Paramount's a successful website. So let's say as an example that we would put my domain name dot com, and let's say we're in the wholesale coffee business. So we can say wholesale coffee and let's say we offer free shipping so that might be a good thing to put into the title of the page the title of the page is what the page's title is about very important step before we move forward 